días, good afternoon, buenas tardes, good evening, buenas noches, whenever it is that you get to see this. My name is Miss Adri and I'm here to teach you some stuff. And today we are going to be talking about, is having an accent okay? This is actually a common question that I've heard either directly like that, is it okay to have an accent? or something similar to it through my time and my experience as an educator, as a tutor, a teacher, whatever you want. And I think that the question actually stems from some of the following reasons. The first reason, in my opinion, is fear. Yes, this is a very common thing, believe it or not. And as I said in two of my previous videos, we do have to push ourselves past the comfort zone and you know kind of push our limits when we're learning a new language or languages but many of us actually struggle with this crippling fear because yes it can be sort of a crippling fear because we want to sound perfect we want to write perfectly and we really want to demonstrate how much we've learned of this language or how much we are already proficient in it perhaps but most of all we want to be understood and i think a very common fear is that you've taken i don't know x amount of classes and perhaps in your mind or in class you are proficient etc but once you're like in a real life situation um you're scared that you won't be understood by the receiver that is a native in that language. Another reason people might ask if having an accent is okay is due to intimidation. Now, there's two types of intimidation. There's the one that we intimidate ourselves or we psych ourselves out from, you know, speaking, writing the language that we or are learning or languages that we are learning. But I would say that the most common one that some people suffer from is by being bullied because they are not proficient in X language or it has happened to them. I've seen it before. I've seen it in my classroom. I've had students that they make fun of other students for not being as proficient as them. And obviously I nip it in the booty as i say very quickly because there is absolutely no reason that anybody should be making fun of anybody because they are not as proficient as they are and it is ridiculous i believe that somebody should be bullied because their proficiency of a language perhaps orally is not as good as somebody else's to me that is ridiculous and yes i completely understand people having this fear of being bullied because it happens unfortunately or they are so scared that somebody is going to correct them and have them you know have a bad time because they made a mistake and that is ridiculous 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 and it should not happen it should not be happening at all at all the last one is pronunciation now this one kind of connects to fear and intimidation because sometimes, and this is true for many languages, our native language kind of trips us up when we're speaking in our second or third language. And this happens all the time. And many people are afraid that if they pronounce something wrong, they won't be understood. Or sometimes students, and I am using students because it is broad, because we are all students in life, perhaps have been corrected before, and the way that they were corrected was not the most positive way. I think that all of us teachers can associate with that. Sometimes we've done corrections that should have been done another way, but I digress. And that makes people afraid of how to pronounce something. Besides that, going back to our first language, sometimes, sometimes, we have words that are cognate, if I'm not mistaken. And they are words that they are very similar in either two languages or 
multiple languages. And when you have a certain type of a language background, well, sometimes our brain betrays us. And instead of saying it in the correct pronunciation in of our target language, we say it in the pronunciation of our native language. And you know what? That can trip people up. That can make people go like, I know, oh my God, what happened? I screwed up, blah, 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 which is ridiculous. At least I think so. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Miss Adley. I hope I taught you something today. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on all of my social media. I'm on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. You will see all of my handles in the next page. And I hope you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye.